Hey everybody, how's it going? Whoa, the that is some blurry camera. That is washed out. How are you guys doing? Oh, that looks a little better. How are you guys doing? Um, so apparently I have uh, a lot of competition tonight on Friday. I just was thinking, man, we're so close to 15k. I'll hop on and just start chatting and and say hi to everybody, because why not? It's Friday night, and I'm not allowed to go anywhere. I mean, the city's pretty much shut down still. So, um, I do want to encourage you guys to check out Redfish Bluefish's channel. Whoa, don't check out my nose. I don't know what's going on with my camera. Um, I do want to encourage you guys to check out Redfish Bluefish's channel at 8 o'clock. He's going live, and he's a good buddy of mine who I hope to go out to his new store that he's opening. Um, i got to take a ferry boat and a drive, and then a ferry boat and then a drive, um, to get to him, which is great. Um, it's beautiful, and might even be worth documenting. Probably see some seals and porpoises and dolphins um those are you know um webbed footed dolls um and uh yeah so that'll be going on but i just wanted again i feel like we were just here making a video at 14k 14k felt like substantial because of um gold i think out in my head you know usually like 5k 10k 15k whatever is kind of where i was celebrating um uh, but for some reason, I decided last month, oh, 14K, let's let's celebrate that many subs. Uh, <laughs> and I guess it was because of gold? I don't know. I, I, boy, uh, I can't really tell you why. But long story short, essentially, um, I was going to, I mean, I felt, I felt like 15K is, is, a, is a nice marker um, as well. So... I figured I'd stream because lately I've been getting, I mean, thank you guys. I don't know if the algorithm was shining happily upon me or if uh, I'm doing something different uh, or whatnot. But lately I've I've been getting some, somewhere between 20 and 50 subscribers a day, which is pretty unheard of on my channel. But it's been doing that for over a month. Um, so that... Because of that, um, I was thinking, okay, sweet. I'm going to probably hit 15K subscribers tonight. Um, and it looks like I'm maybe 20 short or something like that. Uh, today, I, when I woke up, it was at, I think, 51. Like, uh, I needed I needed another 40-some or something. So, hello, everybody. How's it going? Um, the long story short is I... I scheduled this, and then I totally spaced that my buddy Jason, who is Redfish Bluefish online, totally spaced that he is going live uh, at 8 o'clock my time, so in whatever, uh, 20 minutes. So I figured I'll hop on here and say, hey guys, what's going on? And then after he streams, if it's not too late and I don't fall asleep uh, like an old grandpa... I'll probably hop back on and maybe just pull one of those let's talk about fish and the hobby and uh, and whatever um, until until the cows come home essentially until until I hit that until I hit that marker that might be a little bit overzealous but you know just just wishful thinking so let's see here uh, we've got so many amazing people on here I know Lucas Bretz is streaming too I think he hopped on. A wee bit late tonight, or maybe early. I don't know uh, if I can't remember if he listed it as Central Time or if he listed it as Eastern Time. But I caught some of his stream and um, love his stream, love his channel. It's just it gets too busy and uh, he, he can't answer questions without super chats sometimes. So uh, I was like, oh, I want to talk fish. I want to chat with fish people, but. I feel like I, it's just too fast, so I figured, oh, I'll open my channel. So, good to see you, Ken. Um, good to see you, Jack, Dan, uh, Big Worm, Fake Name, Chev, um, Birkinshaw, Muppet, Amateur, what's up? 
<laughs> oh man, you know what? I never thought about it till just now. But your name. So we were quick, quick uh, story that has nothing to do with anything. My friends and I, we were in Boston, and it was in maybe like two thousand three or four. And Good Will Hunting had come out. I mean, it was still being referenced in pop culture a lot. Like, there are SNL skits about it. And, you know, it was just a big movie for a couple of years. A lot of people were talking about Matt Damon and, and, um, uh, the, 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 what's that guy's name with the terrible tattoo on his back? Uh, Ben Affleck. Um, talking about them a lot. And, um, we were walking down the street. Outside of was it George and Dragon, uh, the 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 pub that opened in sixteen million years ago, uh, the oldest bar in America, and my friend was just like, oh, I can't wait until we hear someone yell, you effing amateurs, and as he says it, a guy grabs him by the shoulder and spins him around, and he goes, what the f did you say? You think I'm some kind of effing amateur? You making fun of Boston? And, and he just, oh, the thickest Boston accent. I thought my friend was going to get just the crap kicked out of him by uh, the local guys at the bar there. But he offered him a drink, and that was uh, the end of our time with the local yokels. Okay, so this, let's, let's see if we can figure out. I don't know why, but all of a sudden, YouTube decided that... It's going to zoom me in like, there we go, that's better, uh, that it was going to zoom me in a million fold for no reason. I don't know why that happened. Aquaballs, what's up? Um, <laughs> what's my uh, tattoo says awesome? What's my says dude? I'm, I'm so confused. Uh, but what's going on? Aqua balls. Lawrence, what's going on? Um, Mary, of course, good to see you. And uh, Drew, Drew Sample, very good to see you as well. So, how's everybody doing tonight? We doing good? Um, dude, where's my car? Yeah, dude, where is my car? Um, that was a movie that was popular around that time, too. Uh, and American Pie, I don't know. I think American Pie came out first. Oh, boy. Let's let's not get into that rabbit hole. Show you some fishies. This is a female that has no male, and she's trying to spawn. She's like egg bound, and I feel bad for her. Um, Bear's face. What's up, Van Halen? What's up? Hey, it's Friday night. Yeah, I know. I'm in a good mood tonight. Look at how pretty the. Well, oh, they're not even coming out as blue on your screen, man. I hate live streams sometimes. Hey, Ro. What's up? Uh, but these are the blue panda guppies, and some guy, what did he want? Oh, I was just giving away Scarlet Baddis males, because I had way too many at one point. And he was like, here, take one female of my pretty panda guppies. And I was like, okay, I'll put a female in her. And now I've got all these uh, boys that are hanging out here. And um, all these babies that are like, I mean, they're lurking all over the place, uh, if you look carefully. She had like, no joke, 45, 50 babies uh, this, like, I don't know, a few days ago. Um, I want to highly advise against onion plants also while we're here <laughs> for the moment. Uh, yeah, because, hey, what's up, Bob? How's it going? Um, you know what, Bob? Hold on, hold on. We're going on a journey. I must atone for something that I have felt my soul racked by for two years now. Because I'm a terrible, terrible, terrible person. And I might have just broken it. No, I'm just kidding. It's fine. Uh, but the log cabin... Is still here. It's still coming to you someday. Uh, I should just get your address again. I need to send out plants to uh, the last winner from uh, from the Aquascape contest too. So I'll be going to the post office and I can send you the log cabin filter. It's been so long that maybe I should actually show folks this one more time since I'm just going on before... Uh, before Jason hops on on Redfish Bluefish channel. Um, I hope to be going and visiting him 
uh, and showing you guys what he's working on. He just, I, I happen to know some info. I don't know what he's going to be announcing tonight, so I don't want to ruin it. But um, long story short is that I will be going to visit him and he will have some fish there that he doesn't have now um, when I visit him. And so it's pretty exciting getting his shop up and running, especially since... Um, oh, thanks. Yeah, the, the ADA, I'm, I've been digging that, the the low boy. You know, they don't really make them anymore. This is all cold water right now. You can see the rainbow shiners in here as well as some um, rice fish as well as some peacock gudgeons. Peacock gudgeons, not super happy in this water. They're not super colorful and active, but I mean, they're, they're dealing with it. It's 67 degree water. And so I just wanted to push them. Their, their natural territory does get that cold. And so I wanted to push them. Um, no, this low boy is only a, uh, it's a, it's only a 10 gallon or less actually. It's like a 7.5 gallon. Uh, and there's also pygmy, um, there's the other, well, you can't see it, but the other, the other gudgeons back over there. And then there are also pygmy sunfish that all pretty much live right in here somewhere. Um, but yeah, so, um, what was I going to say? Uh, oh, nice. Going to do summer tub. Oh yeah. You guys have vacation coming up. As far as, uh, well, and I need to clear all of this junk. This was going to be my my contribution to our little Aquascape contest. Was going to be this tank, which is a low-tech, actually it doesn't have a filter even right now. A low-tech, no heat, uh, no CO2, no fertilizer tank. Um, it does have real soil as a bottom layer, and then it has some ADA uh, Amazonia in there no sand cap it's only about a two and a half inch deep substrate but um oh yeah the onion plant it sucks that's what i was gonna say don't buy them they they just it's a straight spike that just grows up and it's no fun and it will laugh at you and mock your life and that's all it does um let's see here why is this so hard okay I'm trying to put together this thing that i need to send bob as I need to go back in time and send it to Bob two years ago when I said I was going to. Because he said he had one as a kid. And so, okay, all right. Here's the adorableness. So this is from 1967, I think we established. And uh, it's a little log cabin. Isn't that cute? And uh, so... It's uh, it's got a little chimney that are the bubbles, and it's just a, a little little corner filter, uh, and it doesn't have any suction from the bottom, so it's interesting how it works. Usually today you'd see holes in the bottom, the very bottom too, not just that level, but that's how it goes together, and I have the box too. And they made him, I think they started making them in 63, and we decided from, I think, two years, two or three years ago, <laughs> geez, man, when I first got this, and Bob was one of the very few people who watched my channel and supported my channel, and I have not forgotten that for one moment, him and Betsy, who is busy breeding dogs most of the time these days, but we looked at the packaging and all the, really, watch me break it before I even get it to him. Uh, doing it all one-handed. Um, but looked at all the printing marks and the packaging and the registry marks and the copyright. And uh, we kind of figured that it was probably a 1967 production of the 1963 patent that actually was first patented, not even in plastic, but in glass. Woo! We're spinning around. Sorry, guys. Um, that, that, uh, was spinning or uh, was in in uh, patent listed way back like 1938 or something. Someone sketched out an idea for it, but it was a provisional patent. That's back when uh, my channel consisted of a lot of patent hunting for the heck of it. Um, by the way, uh, Ludwigia 
Rubra. That's a cool, or is it? No, not Rubra. Sorry, guys. Palistris. That's a fun one. Uh, it's not super red, but uh, yeah. So, let's see here. So, these tanks I haven't shown y'all in a minute. Um, the green dra greens are in here. Let me see. I feel like I missed a question. Um, where could I buy Balen Balenciaga Crypt? In Bali? Uh, cichlids? You know, I'm really not sure about that. <laughs> I would check... Um, hmm. Where would I check? I don't think Florida Aquatic Nurseries sells it, so it's not going to be, like, a popular one. It's going to have to be from, you know, a person's site, probably, that's um, that's uh, a hobbyist that sells, like Lucas Bretz or something like that. He doesn't have it, I don't think, but something like that. Um, Aquarium Plants Factory. There you go. Thank you, Abigail. That's very helpful. So hopefully that is helpful uh let's see here drew sample says i want a historically relevant name my yellow tiger endler that survived a while out of the tank do you know any groovy endangered tiger stories wow um let's see here um mm. Mm. well i know the flying tigers uh, that fought in World War II, the Americans that fought with the Chinese against the Japanese. There might be some cool plane names with the Flying Fighting Tigers. Um, they're pretty cool. They basically fought a covert war while the rest of the world was watching Hitler tap dance all over Eastern Europe. Um... So let's see. Yeah, I wonder if the patent is uh, current. I haven't seen any. Uh, I've not seen anything similar, actually. And in this tank here, I've got all these little baddest, and they don't do anything. This is not heated, and I think that's a bad choice. They are growing faster in the non-heated, uh, but they're just not doing anything. They just sit around. I don't know. I don't know what to ha say. I don't know what to say, but, uh, the green shrimp, they're chilling, they're doing their thing, I'll do mine, um, they're not fun to watch in this tank because of the, you know, where, the way I situated it, I'm just hoping that we buy a house soon and that it becomes fun soon, um, because, yeah, let's see, come on, come forward, come ye faithful shrimp. I don't know if any are buried. Is This is the one that I'm questioning. I can't tell if she's buried or not. Let's try to pull the light over. No, it doesn't look like it. But, yeah, none of them have gotten buried yet. And there's like 10 in here, 11 in here right now. Also, this is the nothing tank that I just throw plants into and hope there were eggs on them and wait a couple weeks and then do it again. And so far, as predicted, I just have snails. But it's only a two and a half, and so I figured I'd use it as a QT tank if I need to. Um, but it's got some baby shrimp in it. Uh, they must have been so small that they just, uh, you know, hop right in and do the thing. And then in here, we've got some of the pearl scale madakas hanging out. And also, this was kind of an experiment with filters. Um... This looks like an experiment in planaria. Holy moly, is that planaria actually? Oh no, it's, I thought it was. It's uh, actually little pieces of, um, uh, like plant debris. Okay. Okay, I'm off the floor. So, uh, if you're not subscribed, oh, I would appreciate it. If we could hit that 15k mark tonight, I'm, I'll, I'll be able to sleep a lot sooner than if I have to get back on after Jason's live stream, which starts at 8. Is it 8 yet, guys? I can't see the time. Um, this is another one that's low-tech, and I just love the way it's turned out. This is sand from the beach. Um, and average fish keeper, hello. It's sand from the beach. 
from the Washington coast. And you can see some anaerobic bacterial growth right there doing its thing. Uh, panda loaches, they're down to 65 degrees right now, which is the temperature of the room. And they're really just chilling, doing their thing. Um, and they're having some fun. Uh, ahoy there. Ahoy hoy, that's actually how Thomas Edison wanted us to answer our phones. That was his little, uh. Um, so the pandas, when they're in colder conditions, they need the, all that oxygen and all that stuff. Um, so that's why they've got the crazy, for a 10 gallon, that's why these little, little teeny fish have so much water being moved around. Uh, the, the, um, Corys that I put in here, well, when I went away for five days, <laughs> the funniest thing happened. Um, they ate all the baby blue dream shrimp, basically, and so... I moved them out of here. The B-52s, they're upstairs now. In the love shack. If anybody got that reference, go to bed. Um, another really fascinating thing is that the algae eating long nose, short nose shrimp. Okay, so it's a long nose dwarf shrimp, but it is a uh, short, the shortest noses of the long nose species. So they call it a short nose, long nose shrimp, but it's actually a Japanese algae eating shrimps, another name for it, but there's babies and I thought they were going to die like they always do, but they've made it to like size where I can see what they are. And you know, they're, um, doing their thing, which is cool, which is pretty cool, man. Uh, other thing that I'll show you real quick before we come back after Jason's show is this. This filter sucks. I hate it. Don't buy it. At first, I thought, wow, what a great filter for five bucks from China. It's going to be awesome. Look at all those substrate layers. Look at the polishing layer. Look at the sponges and all that stuff. Um, no, it just clogs, and then it sucks. I hate it. This, though, on the other hand, this sponge filter, the singular sponge filter was... Uh, fantastic here let me show you the box I know you guys may not believe that I actually have an exotic fish tank filter from uh, China but here you are uh, proof that it is indeed Chinese uh, it is the XY2881 filter so yeah um, so yeah and it's in here and it came wrapped in aluminum foil which i thought was super weird i don't know maybe that's something they do also <coughs> talk about it after jason does his live stream i'll be back if you guys want to join me i know it gets laid over east for you guys but the other thing i wanted to touch on <coughs> is i want to do a halloween tank so on the facebook group if you guys have Halloween decorations uh, in your aquariums or around your aquariums, uh, I'd love to see it. Do I have a video about Brightwell substrate? Um, hmm. Yeah, it drops the pH. If you have neutral pH, it's uh, Brightwell will uh, exactly drop it to 6.5 in a 20 gallon aquarium if you buy the big bag. That's what I've found. If, if you have low TDS and neutral water. <coughs> um, so yeah, um, okay. Well, I don't want to ruin this uh for my buddy but if you guys want to check it out his name's jason he has a stream called redfish bluefish based out of um uh woodby island which is there's a naval base there and there's the hippies there and there's neo-nazis there there's all sorts of people that wanted to get out of seattle years ago um right left off the map, all sorts of kind of uh, strange characters out there and a lot of cabins and beach homes. And um, 
he's starting a fish store out there, which is rad. There, I think there's a Petco uh, on the north end of the island. It's the longest island other than um, Long Island in the U.S., so there's a little geography trivia for you. I think it's like 49 miles or 47 miles long. I mean, it's pretty skinny, though. Uh, and that's in the middle of the Puget Sound. So that's where Jason is. Literally, if I look out my double doors here, it's his house would be right here. If I, if I went seven miles or eight miles, that would be his house. And um, yeah... But there's a bunch of stuff in the way, so it takes like two hours to get to him. Because you have to get on a ferry, you have to drive north, down a peninsula, then up another isthmus, and then you get to him. But I'm going to hop off here real quick. Um, if you know someone who's not subscribed, but you'd like to subscribe, please subscribe. I'd love it. And um, I'll launch this same little thing in whenever Jason's done. I just don't want to trample over his space because um, he's live. So... Uh, if you guys want to hop over there with me, I'll be in the chat hanging out, and then I will be back. Sorry to tease you guys with this short chat. I just didn't realize, like, I forgot. Oh, he's it's his night, too, that he's going to go live. I already waited for um, uh, Aquamates and then Lucas Bretts, and I was like, I got to get on there. I want to talk. Uh, I want to talk fish with someone. So, yes. Where do I get those Japanese uh, short-nosed algae-eating sh shrimp? Um, those, those delicious prawns. Um, you can get them at, um, with, uh, they come with a free bloomin' onion, um, when you go to Outback or, uh, Bonefish Grill. Uh, no. You can get them at Aquatic Arts. That's the only place in the country I've seen selling them, honestly, other than some hardcore hobbyists, because they're a clear shrimp that is like an Amano, but peaceful. Amanos are jerks and they're escape artists, so I don't like them. I mean, they're cool, but I don't, they, whatever. Okay, let's hop over to Jason's channel and show him some love, you guys. I'd appreciate that if you're bored and want to do that. If not, and I will see you later, then I see you later. So I'll go live whenever he's done, maybe an hour. Uh, and then, uh, oh, you don't have, I don't mean join, I just mean subscribe. You don't have to do anything to join my channel. All my content that I always put out will be accessible for the same low, low price of free 99 um, and, uh, yeah, so I'm going to go over to the Redfish Bluefish, uh, that's the channel name on YouTube, stream, uh, because he's got a stream going right now, probably, so I'll hop over there, and then I'll be live again, probably make the same thumbnail and everything, if, if you want to come join me, and we can answer questions, and chat, and, uh, my wife's out drinking with a friend who just got a COVID test, so that's why the house is mine tonight. That's why I'm uh, going on on here. So uh, I'll see you all later. Thank you, mods. Um, and if you want to do this, let's let's hop over to Redfish, Bluefish, and be like, Rah! like Viking invaders. Okay, all right. I'll see you guys later. And good night.